what's up guys shaunak here again back with another coding tutorial in this tutorial i'll be focusing on fast api so fast api is a framework which you can use to create apis restful apis so in this particular tutorial i'll be discussing the basics so i'll teach you how to create basic crud operations using fast api and the features that fast api provides so in the past i have worked with flask restful to create apis i haven't yet worked with django that's uh, in the pipeline but uh, fast api creating apis using fast api is very very easy if you compare it to flask and uh, i guess it is also very easy if you compare it to django as well so within just few lines of code you will be able to create your uh, api requests so let's dive in so i work as aiml consultant basically and if you want to contact me this is my email which is very easy to remember shaunak.python at the red gmail.com that is if you want to collaborate on any project and this is how we will be proceeding with this particular course so first we will i'll show you how to install fast api i'll be starting ex uh, basically from with the very scratch so we will start with creating our virtual environment and installing fast api fast api then we will go over crud operations that is create read update and delete so for create we'll be using post for reading we'll be using get for updating we'll use put and for delete we'll be using delete then using base model and field for data validation using pydantic so pydantic is basically a library which we will be using for creating the base model and also uh, a method in pydantic by the name of field so we will make use of that as well for data validation then lastly we will in this particular in the basics we will be using how to use our own status codes and uh, http exception handling so let's dive into it so this is the first api folder which i have created so let me just right click and open pycharm in this particular library not library in this particular location okay so we are here in pycharm let me open the terminal here and quickly create virtual environment so in here i'll type virtual env and name of the virtual environment let me give fast api venv virtual environment so right now it is creating virtual environment so the reason why we create virtual environment is because for every project the requirement of the versions that is the libraries and the dependencies that you will be using so those might differ so for example you have two projects a and b a might need python 2.7 b might need python 3.5 so if you have a global package that single package won't work for both the cases so for that particular purpose you create virtual environment you set up the virtual environment and then there you install the necessary dependencies it it is also helpful when you create the requirements.txt file using pip freeze so i would suggest you to use the virtual environment for every project that you work with so virtual project so virtual environment is created over here so let me just click over here and here if you see this fast api so this particular folder is created which has library scripts and in this particular scripts we have this activate file and this activate dot bat which is the batch fi batch file so we just need to activate to activate this virtual environment i'll be executing executing this activate file so let me just go back to my terminal here and let me directly type in fast api so i'll type the name of that particular folder let me just fast api underscore venv in that i'll go to scripts and then type activate so if you see over here it is right now ps c colon forward slash users so after i execute this it will show fast api underscore venv so if you see over here we are now in our virtual environment 
and in here I will now install fast API so I will use pip install fast API let me put it in double colon sorry double inverted comma and here I will type all and then complete it complete the double inverted comma pip install fast API all execute it so it is now installing fast API in this particular virtual environment so if you see it is installing the necessary dependencies it might take some time depending upon your network speed and we are done with fast api so let me just quickly create one python file which we will be using in the next video i will name it main and in this main file let me import fast api from fast api import fast api and if you have worked on flask or any other server related uh, libraries we will be first initiate it using app equal to fast api and here for example purpose i'll show you how to create get app dot get it is very easy and here i will pass in the function sync def and here example read and i'll just return first api active and if you want to uh, run this server you have to type uvcon so uvcon will create mock server on your localhost uvcon name of your file main colon and then this app and now that since we are going to run this in uh, to uh, this is not in production env environment so right now we are in testing an environment so for that particular reason since i am going to show you how to create crud operations i'll type dash dash reload so every time we make any change and we save this particular file it will automatically reload the server so that will save us time but when we are going to uh, when we deploy this on production we are not going to type dash dash reload so let me execute this uvcon main colon app dash dash reload it will show us that it will show the local uh, address where this particular api is active server is active let me just click on it so if you see fast api active and one more thing which fast api helps you out with is the swagger ui so if you want to see the swagger swagger ui just click in the url bar and forward slash docs it will take you to the swagger ui so this is the swagger ui where you can execute the different request methods so right now we have this get method example read i'll click on it and then click on try it out and if i execute it it will show fast api active with a status code of 200 which means okay so that's how you set up your environment for fast api and uh, how you create your server uh, in the next video i'll be discussing how to do crud operations and that's all for this video in the next video i'll be back again bye